aside from, and, and let's be all inclusive here, aside from your president waiting until Russia has gained so much ground, let's be all inclusive. Besides waiting until Russia has gained so much ground to now all of a sudden want to send Ukraine guns and, 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 and aside from him just, you know, still treating your, 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 your super stupid, treat, excuse me, treating you like you're super stupid because of all of that money that, that, that you saved up on your, you know, stranded in the house and can't go nowhere, you know, uh, 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 COVID lockdown, you know, you, you couldn't do nothing but work and save your money. Or you were getting all these, you know, these this, this additional help from your your, your your state, you know, from your, your workers' time, whatever that, that shit you were getting, all that money you were getting. You know, they were like, well, shit, these people have money saved up now. Let's raise the prices on everything. So, you know, your, 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 your president is still treating you like you're super stupid. Like, you don't, you can't figure it out. And, and some of us have figured it out. And some of us just don't even think about things like that, you know. This money's being fished out of your pocket. And all I say fish, you know how you fish? When you throw that, that rod out there, you can't just snatch it back when you got a hit. You gotta just gently, you gotta ease that, that fish right on to you. And that's what your government has been doing. They've been fishing you. And we can say that, yeah, it was in, it's inflation, you know, but do you really know what the fuck inflation is? Um, when you fish, you have to make that fish feel like, you know, it's a food, it's prey, it got that little worm and it's good before it want to just take off, you know. And sometimes it's, it's lightning fast because they're, you know, that's all they, they, they don't have a brain to think about all this other shit. So it's just like, boom, I got it, boom, boom, boom. But now if it, if it doesn't feel like it has it, yeah, or it has it, then it won't lock in. And it'll try to shoot off really, really quickly. That's what fish do. So the government has, has, has you know, and, and they tell you, you know, just like I said, like Ukraine, they wait till this this state, this late stage in the game to try to send them weapons now. And wait. They're also now using excuses as to why they can't send them sophisticated weapons or high power weapons. They're using excuses. They will send us some rifles and some guns. Yeah, we, we help them up with the guy. But the Ukrainian president is begging America. Does that sound like somebody that, that's getting help from these people? Because you posted it on Facebook, do you think the president actually gave a fuck? Do you posted it on LinkedIn? You posted it on uh, YouTube? Do you think your president actually gives a fuck? Do you think he's listening to you? <laughs> this is exactly what is good, what, what your country has done to you, man. Your country has, has fished you. They fished you. They made you. Um, content with biting that hook, you know? But even if a fish, even if a fish knew that there was, there was, you know, even if the fish knew that there was some bullshit in the game, you think they would grab their hook? Even a fish, man. Like I said, they don't have too much shit to think about, man. You know what I mean? This is exactly what your country has done to you, man. And then it's added a continuous melee of murders, of mass murders to the mix. It's added a continuous melee of mass murders to the mix. All while your only concerns are, you know, the amount of money that you're going to party with this week or the amount of money that you saved up to get these new night nights. I got to add them on. Only Pinterest right now. Pinterest is my only concern. I've seen this goddamn 
I got a bitch, I got a head. This shit, this shit ain't but goddamn $180. I got a head, I got them. Uh, I'm the only concern, man. This is, this is the only thing. <laughs> but what if I use the number six? Six children murdered in Chattanooga. You remember that shit that happened in Tennessee just a few days ago? Six children were there. Sixteen, seventeen mass shoot over a weekend. Uh, where were the fucking police? Over a weekend. I apologize to all of you out there on the gram on Sal Omega Six S A Omega S A O M E G A Six. I apologize to all of you out there if you didn't hear the first part of this thing right here. No bad, no bad for whatever reason. And I think it was to um, turn it off last night to uh, turn off the ringer and make sure, you know, you motherfuckers ain't just you know, wake me all up in the middle. Spam, yo, three in the morning, four in the morning, you got spam. Five in the morning, spam. The fuck are you calling me? Oh, excuse me. The fuck are you calling me about? Anyway, um, if you did miss it, go back and check some of my other posts. Sal Omega 6. Or jump over here on the other one. Lord Omega. Lord. Excuse me, Lord Christopher 82. Jump on the ground. Check me out. You know, just a few posts here. You know, just rap with me, though. More importantly, get up on this YouTube channel. Um, Lord Christopher 618. Get up on this YouTube channel, though, because. You know, my continuous everyday post is my continuous order that I post. This is North Carolina's criminal, criminal justice system. These criminals are running the criminal justice system and they're destroying the very fabric of society. Destroying it. And they're taking our power, y'all. They're taking our sovereignty. They're taking our officialness, you know what I'm saying? They're taking our meaning away from us, our purpose. And, and I'm here, I'm behind this camera because I really don't want to be behind this camera because Tupac became a great rapper because he could ingeniously intertwine facts of the world, newspaper articles, you know what I'm saying, uh, police reports, um, news articles, news clippings, you know, he could, he could just intertwine facts of the world into raps, rhymes, and, 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 and these things. While entertaining you at the same time, while, while making you, you know, laugh, shake your ass, smoke a blunt, drink a beer to this shit, you know what I mean? But I don't have those type of skills. All I could do is come behind this camera and just tell you, like, yo, shit is going on right here. This is what the fuck is going on right here. And this is what the fuck we need to change. And, 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 and you know, sure, a lot of you are gonna be like, well, just leave it to the politicians and, and, and it's their job. And, and so that's what I'm telling you, shut the, stop. Stop it. Because I'm telling you right now, these are the same motherfuckers that are causing these problems. These are the people that are insinuating that you're too dumb to figure out that they are the reason these problems keep happening. And this is not no, you know, you see how goddamn that QAnon shit popped off and they're using all these little, little slick ass tactics to, 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 to come. To, they did the same thing to the parents, like they're doing to the children. They came through on social media, these little slick ass little, little slide, got them games and puzzles and little tricks and shit. I'm coming to you straight the fuck up and you, you can't accept it. 
Let me turn that shit. Man. That motherfucker told me stupid. Turn that goddamn shit up. Let me get that. Let's get down. You can't accept that shit. But I'm telling you, almost the same thing. They were, they were, if they didn't have their fucking simple minded hatred guiding them, they would have really hit the goddamn mark. They would have really, you know, pinpointed where the fuck the problem was coming from. But because of stupidity and ignorance, they allowed hatred to guide them. And, and yeah, I gotta say that, you know, ignorance allows hatred in the heart, you know what I mean? Ignorance does that. Stupidity and ignorance allows hatred to, to guide you and to lead you wherever the fuck you're trying to go. And that's just factual. That's factual shit. So you could get mad and, and, and curse me and all that, but I'm just I'm speaking truth. Hate is something simple to teach. It's so easy to teach. I slap you one time. You get mad. You slap me one time. Get mad, motherfucker. But people don't know. Hatred has, has guided most of our country. Thousands, thousands of years. You know what I'm saying? But now. Um, I just want to ask, you know, where where the fuck, where are, you know, our black leaders? Where, where are they right now? You get a couple of these puppies uh, in a couple of hours, give them a couple of shows, give them a show, give them their own show, man. They can say, well, you know, all right, well, I can get up here and talk about these facts, but I'm going to whitewash them. Or I'm going to slap them. As soon as somebody gets talking about some real shit, I'm gonna shoot, shoot, put another topic. Get you off of this shit, go. Get you onto some different shit. You're black leaders. What about the men in your race? Where are you, where is your, where are your leaders at? What about your race? Where are your leaders at? We ain't gonna put it all on black people. Because we know that American, African Americans is black over here. You know, we were. So while black bodies and while babies' bodies continue to pile up at the hands of these racist, evil, these vile and despicable um, what, what's, what's a good word that I can use? Members? Um, what's a good word that I can use? Pawns? I mean, like, it, it's, it's so many adjectives I could use, or, you know, nouns, or, you know, that I could just. But while these bodies continue to pile up, your, your, your police, your police uh, slave patrols, your leaders, they continue to ride around in their air conditioned, you know, whatever, their air conditioned car. Five dollar gas, you know, five dollar uh, damn gallon gas. It's just right around all day, just chilling. Air conditioned down, all these lights and goddamn shit that light up the goddamn whole motherfucking block. They don't say a word. They're not saying shit. At least not an effective word. At least not anything that 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 matters to any goddamn body that or or that will change anything. <laughs> so it seems to be that America, which which was supposed to be such a mighty nation, a mighty kingdom, it, it has fell into, you know, the, the, the same bullshit, the same problems as all these other third world countries. They, they let an evil minority band together to forge and to create, they created a heinous system of government, a heinous, despicable system of government, a form of government. Even as they built their foundation on some goodness, on goodness, their their black hearts, you know, and and and, and, and just really quick, sidebar. This light and dark um, 
war that, 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 um, that, that, that transpires every day, every second of every day in this world. And about no black skin and white skin. Let's stop, 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 stop thinking stupid. Let's stop being just, you know what I'm saying, so vulnerable and brainwashed all the time. These light and dark forces are all about good and evil. It's all about ignorance and knowledge. We say right and wrong, but all of you want to be wrong because you're ignorant. So it's ignorant or knowledge. It's ignorance or knowledge. I mean, just so you don't want to be called ignorant, but you don't want to use knowledge. You want to don't want to be knowledgeable. You don't want to. So the, 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 these minority, this one evil minority, this minority of people have created a heinous system of government, and then have implemented treacherous and lecherous tactics against all of its citizens. Yeah, and they said the other day that. Inflation ain't going nowhere, even though Joe Biden's laying out some four point plan or some old dumb ass shit. I told you, like, he just continues to, 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 to speak to us like we're just dumb as hell. We don't know any better. The same promises that he built his road to the White House with, we're gonna have the African American family. Each got them, you know what I mean? They, they, they were gonna help us get, so supposedly, they were gonna help us begin establishing wealth. Yeah. The average the African American family. So, by doing that, you, you're gonna raise the price on everything. in the middle of the greatest, I don't even remember exactly what they call it, but in the middle of the greatest job migration in American history, where everybody's just quitting their job, trying to find a better job, so something that people actually can feed their families with, can actually enjoy getting up and going to work the next day, instead of just feeling like you know, this shit ever in. I'm so tired of my life. I hate my life. I can't stand this shit. This is not what I want to do. This is not how I want to. Oh, I can't exercise because it's a fucking job all day, every day. This bullshit job. I can't take care of my kids. This fucked up bullshit ass job. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Can't do this. So, so, so let me just really quick before I just get out of here because I know you got shit to do. I know y'all got shit to do. Um, Really quickly, let's just actually discuss these teachers' jobs. Do you know that they, they're saying, and more and more people are saying, okay, let's arm the teachers. So now the teachers, and, 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 and it's been, you know, in the mix, it's been out here for a while, like, yo, they're like, I don't want to carry a gun to school and kill a child or in it have a shootout with a child. I'm hiding behind a desk and you know, me and a child is having a shootout. A lot of teachers are like, I don't know, I don't want to do that shit. Bro. But now more and more people are actually saying, I want the teachers to be on. If my child is in his class or, or her class, I want my I want my teacher, I want my child's teacher to be on. And so guess what? It's gonna eventually happen and, and, and because of ignorance and stupidity. Our teachers are gonna have to uh, be in a fucking classroom having a shootout. Ignorance and stupidity. I mean, there's no other way to describe that. I mean, is that an intelligent society? Well, my five or eight year old or my ten year old is in a class trying not to get shot, hiding behind a desk that a bullet can easily penetrate or a chair that the bullet, a bullet can easily go through while his teacher is having a shootout with another child. 
Is that an intelligent society? Am I missing something? Like, I mean, it's some fucked up minds, and I read some fucked up books by these fucked up minds, and watched some fucked up movies by these fucked up minds, but I have never even seen anything crazy. And if I had, wow. Is that where this shit is coming from? Wow. Okay. So, how would you even feel? How would you actually feel if you know that you, you murdered this? Even if he was 18 years old, he was saved, well, he was almost an adult. How can you, how would you feel if you went home and you took a shower and you had your dinner and now you're lying there in the bed and this shit is running through your mind and you're like, how would you feel like knowing that you just murdered a damn child? Question of the day. So, like I said, um, Graham out there, the, the, the Instagram family out there, if you're watching, uh, I love y'all. If you're not watching, get up on me. Still love y'all. Uh, I understand, you know, a lot of my views are, a lot of my, my views are, what's the word I want to use? I want to say extreme, maybe, maybe extreme. They're not extreme like these motherfuckers over here, though. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. But they're different from them crazy shit you're thinking out there. They're unorthodoxed in the, in the, in the, in the manner of they haven't been implemented and executed any time in this era. They have been, they're, they're proven methods in, in, in a lot of different uh, societies, but just not in this society here. So, um, like I said, just get up on me. Um, just, you know, listen to me, you know what I'm saying? It's the black, it's the black wrestling bar right here. Just listen to me, um, check with me and see, you know, let me know what you think, you know? Let me know how you feel right now. Because maybe you don't have a family member that has been, you know, murdered by, like I said, this murder of mass murders that has happened, this string of um, mass shootings and killings that have happened over this past, you know, this little short, this short little while right here. Maybe you, you don't have um, anybody that was a person who was murdered, but I know you have to feel away. And and for all of those of you that. Uh, these secret organizations and these gangs and these um, 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 branches of government, I know that you pretty much can't feel the way. You have people telling you not to feel the way, and you better not feel the way. So I understand, you know, I understand you all. Um, and even some of you wives out there, you listen to the crazy, psychotic deranged dad's husband because you love him. Teaching. You need to guide, you need to start guiding them. As the one you're the nurturer, so you gotta nurture these crazy motherfuckers and quit letting them dictate how you think and feel. Because if you have a man ahead of you, if you have a man that leads you and guides you, any of your the, the spiritual or your holy books will tell you that there has to be, there has to be structural organization but if you follow a man you can't just be a stupid motherfucker you can't just be a crazy psychotic deranged um, evil hateful motherfucker because he's going to guide you straight to hell every day and I'm telling you that from the heart he's going to guide you straight to hell and and it's so true that you can do whatever the fuck you want to do on this planet while you're here but there are always consequences. Because karma is a real bitch, I'm gonna tell you that. But there's also different places that you have to go. And you have to be accountable for the shit that you're doing right now, the shit that you've done. 
and even some of the shit that you allowed to happen by not doing what the fuck you would you could have done or was supposed to do. So if you had even your kids out there, even if, even if you were, you know, 18, 20, 22, 27, you're still baby, so I just gotta say that you can't be listening to your mom and daddy for your whole life and letting them dictate how you think and feel and what you do um, out here in this world. It's so crazy that, that, that we would allow our children to think our mental health behavior is so normal and cool and so what we should be. Um, but I can't even say that I'm sad because this shit is, <laughs> this shit is not going to stop. So I'm reaching out to any of you celebrities out there. I know I don't have any followers. I know I don't have any um, people that actually stop and click on this channel or this feed or this post and be like, well, let me see what we're talking about. You know, I know, I know because I'm spitting on some different type of shit. I'm not talking about it. No fuck up shit out here, no stupid shit, no jack. Even, you know, get money shit. I'm not even speaking about it. get money shit, you know what I mean? Not how to get no bitches, how to get pussy. I'm not trying to tell you how to get, and get over on no banks or nobody. It's just, I'm not telling you how that shit. So, a motherfucker like me, um, I have a hard time acquiring followers because people ain't trying to follow me. <laughs> Godly behavior, godly manner. And, and and am I saying I'm God? I'm a God man, but I'm not I'm not the ultimate um God. But I am a representative of the most high because I choose to carry myself in a godly manner and I choose to give so much of me away. didn't, I wouldn't be behind this camera because I don't want to be. Um, I wouldn't choose to reach out to all of you potentially every day. Celebrities, average motherfuckers, social influencers, you know, anybody. I reach out to you every day because um, shit got to change, man. Shit has got to change. And if it doesn't, um, we're going to keep getting the same thing that we've been getting. Until, and I told you this before, and I'm going to tell you again, I'm going to say it today. Um, the United States is in bed with Russia. Man, and, and, and it's crazy how far this union actually goes back. But... tell you this, man. The whole purpose of what the fuck is going on now, of, of, of all these mass shootings being allowed to happen, and, and, and like I said, these Russian operatives, they come for your children through these, you know, these devices, through these you know, laptops and these games and this new shit, and, you know, they come for your children and they get in their minds, and, and even American motherfuckers, they even have fucked up American operatives that, that do the same thing. Because it's all about, um, carrying out an agenda and, and the average person in the world today follows orders to do what the fuck they're told to do in the world or else basically so um, they they come for your children and they the next thing you know they're shooting up a school or they're shooting up or whatever and the next thing you know but it, it, it's all going to lead to soon. America is going to give the keys over to Russia. Me personally, I would rather for China to be goddamn running this shit. But you know, I guess they're all in cahoots. I mean, because you could say, well, these are communist countries, but Russia is trying to get the numbers up like China, so they can flip on China. And we don't see that far. We don't see that far ahead. Um, but yeah, they, they're trying to get the numbers of Ukraine, then America, 
then what? You know, you flip on China, flip on North Korea, and all these other communist countries. Get in line or else. Get right or get left. You know, you know the saying. You know how it goes. But anyway, anyway I'm going to get up off of this uh, feed right now. Um, I'm sad. I, I'm sad, you know. I didn't know anybody who just got shot yesterday. But it definitely shows how fucked up our country is. And, and, and it shows how much we need healing. So if, if you can't even acknowledge that fact, then your heart is definitely cold and black and, 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 and <laughs> you're the ugliest motherfucker on the planet, to be honest with you. <laughs> No matter how much, you know, new shit you got on and how much how much jewelry and all this bullshit you got on, you're the ugliest motherfucker on the planet. And you will only ever attract bitches. Yeah, you can fuck bitches. That's all you will ever attract. You will never have a real woman. You will never have a godly wife. And and that's true. They say the devil always wanted to be God. So I guess that's what they say, you know, stay in line. Anybody out there that um, actually watches YouTube anymore? Anybody out there that, that, that comes across my YouTube channel? Give me a like, yo, give me a like. Gotta do it. <laughs> nah, you don't have to like me. Really appreciate some likes. Subscribe to my shit, man. Check me out because I'm talking about real, real shit. I'm talking about how you can save your children, man. Save yourself, but really save your children, man. It's really important nowadays. Um, you already know, first caller after the show, you're getting a prize, G. It's just that simple. Holler back.